why SEO is ineffective, and uh, if not SEO, then what? And that might be really loaded, dense part of the question. No, no, it's a great question. I, I love it, dude. It's a great question. I love it. So the way that everything works in marketing is the minute something is discovered, it 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 is the highest efficiency, highest yield, and then every minute the technique gets less and less effective. So when SEO came on the scene as many years back as it did, you know, 15, 20 now, it, it, it was it could have been extremely effective. Now, granted, not a lot of art was being sold there, but such that you could not have to work that hard on your SEO, and we should probably break down SEO. SEO has two parts to it. The SEO, everybody thinks, is I magically put in uh, keywords in a meta description, and Google magically sends me traffic, magically sends me buyers. Nothing could be further from the truth. Just putting in the information on your web page does not guarantee you any organic traffic whatsoever, um, aside from your name. SEO is no different than any other marketing technique. You have to constantly and actively be going out there and building links directly back to your website such that you might rank high in the search engines, okay? That's number one. Number two, if I was to ask you, and, and unmute your mic because this is an important exercise, explain to me in three keywords how I would find your art by going into a search engine. SEO is not worth it for you, dude. If you couldn't tell me in two seconds what I type into a search engine to get directed to you. And so that's the other part of it. It's like, if I looked at everybody on this call, and let's just say there's 100 to keep the math simple, maybe there is one person on this call where they stand a chance at making it with SEO. And I'll give you for, I'll give you for instance, we've got a guy in Pittsburgh who is a photographer, okay? And he takes photos of all the bridges in Pittsburgh, and he colors them like the Steelers in Photoshop. He does extremely well. Crazy niche, right? But bridges, bridge photography, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, stands a chance, okay, at, at working on his SEO because that is such a unique niche search term. But in each one of these instances, you have to balance how much search volume is there. Are there thousands, hundreds of thousands of people searching that? Or are there 10 people a month searching that? Also, what's the competition look like? And that whole equation, um, it it's just does not provide the level of ROI for the artist or the photographer that would traditionally marketing in the ways that work, right? Capturing emails, emailing the emails, having sales, uh, posting on Facebook and Instagram, doing all that consistently all year long. So the ROI is just not there uh, for most. And, and I would go even further to say, out of all those customers that we have and all of the data um, you know, that, that, that we look at and we inspect, very, very few, less than 2 or 3% are primarily deriving their income from SEO. But I should put non-branded SEO, right? Like, are you an artist or photographer? Photographer. So, okay. So aside from Mike Johnson photography, which by the way, you're hosed on that name right out of the gates too. You think there's any more Mike Johnson photographers? If I put in Mike Johnson photography, there's probably 50 of you, right? Like 10 pages because you have a comment. I'm not there. the only one. Yes, you're not the only one. Um, so yeah, really at the end of the day, it's just about, it's about ROI more than anything else. And you know, a, a perfect example, like the history of this business and other digital businesses are are written by companies that got to the party first and got really, really good at it. And then they're almost impossible to, 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 to get out of the way. And so if you look at Fine Art America, for just about every artist that's on there, for just about every term, they own it because they've been at it for 15 years and they killed it. But it's a marketplace, right? It's, it's, it's a different story entirely. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for checking out the Q&A. What if you have your own question? First, uh, you can leave me a comment below on this YouTube video. I see them, I will respond. Uh, number two, uh, definitely encourage you to subscribe. It's very easy to do. There's some fancy motion graphics going across the screen now, uh, but there's a subscribe button. There's a bell button. You'll know when we're live. You can come on and say, Patrick, I have a question, uh, even from your YouTube app, which is super handy. And then the third is three times weekly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, free Zoom calls, we're calling the Art Business Workshops. There's going to be a link uh, directly below me in this description. You can sign up. Uh, they're free. You can come answer your question, which I'm sure will be awesome. And I will do my measure best to uh, make sure my advice is slightly better than marginal. Uh, no, but I'm, in all seriousness, I'll, I'll, I'll take a crack at answering it. Thanks. Uh, thanks for checking out this video.